Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I have an extremely exciting video. I had a talk with Alexander Balabanov. Now, um, he will be representing Ukraine in Junior Eurovision this year, and I am so excited to get to know him a bit more, ask him some interesting questions that he may not have been asked before. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Um, hello, hello, Jeep. Hello everyone, I'm Alexandru Balabanov. Uh, I'm representing Ukraine this year on Junior Eurovision. So I know that you have just come back from Warsaw and um, there you were filming your music yeah. video. Are yeah, you happy with it? Do you think it went well? Uh, yeah, so uh, on Sunday I came back from Warsaw, from Poland. Mm -hmm. uh, there we were filming uh, our performance for Junior Eurovision. This yeah. year, because of uh, this quarantine stuff, uh, we're filming uh, performances previously, so mm -hmm. we did it. We uh, went here for three days. It was really cool. Yeah. Of course, it was a great city. I really like it. So, I absolutely loved your music video from um, Nazionali Vidbeer. <laughs> Do you think, you or have you, brought in any aspects from that with the hanging mirrors to the stage or are you going for something completely different and fitting you on the new stage? Uh, I, I don't know, maybe. Uh, I, uh, I think that no, uh, mm -hmm. because um, like uh, my video from uh, Selection and uh, my performance will be different because uh, it's like a uh, different stage and different everything. Yeah. So as far as I'm aware, you have competed three times in Nazionali Vidbeer, once with Mididi Zemli, We Are the Children of the Universe, um, once with Power in You, and this time with Vidfivai. Um, I actually love all of the songs, they're all really good, but did something feel different about Vidfivai? Did you have a feeling that this one would be the one? Um, or, you know, what do you think about all of your songs? Uh, so yeah, um... This song, uh, this year's song, uh, it now it represents like my music taste, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, one hundred percent. Yeah. So uh, my previous songs, they were, uh, they were made like I uh, participated in, in them, but uh, I don't think uh, I really like uh, put my uh, inside feelings to it, like uh, put my. Uh, like uh, did it uh, almost by my own. Like this song, uh, I did it with uh, Adam Mikhailo Klemenko. Uh, he also wrote a song for Darina Krasnovetsky in 2018. Do you remember? Yeah. Uh, so uh, we just uh, closed up in studio for uh, lots of hours and uh, we've been working. And uh, I really like how uh, like how it worked out. So I heard that you started singing when you were four, um, wow, which is like, wow. Um, but so do you play any other instruments um or is saying your kind of main main thing um i also play guitar and uh, i play piano uh not like professional like i can uh like play for myself like sing uh the song uh, along like with the piano also. yeah uh, that's it yeah cuz i play piano um i've been playing piano for 12 years now and it's like my main thing and um, but I also play trombone and, which is great fun and I also play the French horn and um, currently don't have one but I can also play the um, French horn but yeah piano is my main thing sing a bit too but piano is my main thing so we move towards kind of the other side of my channel so I do Eurovision reactions and I also do study tube which is basically where um, we do videos about revision, exams, how to revise, stuff like that. So um, I find school in different countries really interesting. Um, so what is it like in Ukraine? Like edu school education, right? Yeah. Uh, so uh, we have a pretty like old fashioned education system. Uh, so uh, um, we just have a uh, the schools with uh like i'm talking about public schools mm -hmm, yeah? yeah uh so in the public schools we have uh, old teachers old schools old classrooms mm -hmm. and uh books that are uh sometimes really quite yeah. old uh and uh, uh we have uh, lots of homework mm -hmm. uh while we have uh like long long lessons anyway so it's hard actually 
uh, it would be much better to study in other countries actually. So do you have any big exams coming up? Um, is that how things work in Ukraine? Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm uh, in the ninth year, so uh, uh, this year I will have uh, one exam and uh, in 11th grade I will have one more exam. Yeah, so in Northern Ireland we have GCSEs, which you do when you're 15 or 16, and then A-levels that you do whenever you're my age. So I'm currently doing chemistry, biology, math and further maths. Okay, I will text to you. I'm, I'm a total zero in <laughs> math and chemistry, like a total. And uh, yeah, I will really, I will send you my questions because now I'm uh, slowly coming back to school and mm. it's uh, really hard for me because uh, mm, yeah. I don't like uh, math and chemistry, but I should, I should study it uh, <laughs> because I'll have an exams later. So yeah, I will talk to you about it. <laughs> Definitely do. I, honestly, I will answer any chemistry or maths questions that you send me. So if you had to pick only four subjects to do um what four subjects would you pick so, like what are your favorite subjects that you would really want to do uh definitely history uh english then uh what else what else geography yeah i love geography history of ukraine <laughs> it was world history then history of ukraine definitely yes and uh maybe low but do you think you will go on and do music uh, do you think music's the main path that you're going to take? Uh, I think yes. Uh, if, uh, I'm going to continue uh, then with the education mm -hmm. uh, somewhere in the um, musical degree. So yeah. yeah, that's it. I will I will try to continue with music. So yeah, you want to do music, but if you had to choose something to do for your life that was not music, if you had to choose a job that wasn't to do with music or singing, um. What do you think you would choose? Uh, I guess I like I love aviation. So uh, if I wouldn't be able to uh, continue with music, I guess uh, I would be a pilot. So you know, if I'm ever on a plane, um, going from Northern Ireland to Ukraine or Ukraine to Northern Ireland, I'll be listening out for your name. Yeah, you're Captain Olaf Thunder Valavanov on the flight. So in your song, yeah, um, you say that you will keep on going forward to change the world. So what would be something that you would really want to change? Uh, one of them will be um, a um, ecologic situation. Yeah. Ecologic situation. So um, about uh, lots of cars that are uh, making, uh, like uh, mm, yeah. our air that we breathe, mm. making it more dirty. Uh, so, yeah. uh, um, and also the global warming, like here in Ukraine yeah. right now. Uh, we have no in November. Uh, it's about uh, ten degrees. Uh, oh yeah. In the winter, uh, like uh, previous years, when I was uh, when I was uh, very young, uh, at winter, at the middle of the winter, like New Year, Christmas, uh, we had a uh, huge uh, like uh, bunches of snow. Whoa. Yeah, and. Uh, it was really cold. It was like minus twenty or what? minus uh, maybe minus fifteen. Whoa. But now, last winter, and I guess this winter too, it's now like three times mm. for for like whole year. Yeah. We had snow like every all the winter was without snow, and it was kind of warm. Really, it was uh, approximately like. Uh, Minus five, uh, minus seven, Ooh. something like this. It's cold, but uh, uh, it's, it's warm. Really. It's really getting warmer, yeah. And so Alexander and I continued to talk about the weather for um, quite some time. So um, I kind of just cut that bit out and we'll go straight on. Um, because, you know, you should all know what the weather's like in Northern Ireland, rainy. Um, and same and in Ukraine. There's actually different weather. But anyway, let's get on. And so that is pretty much all we've actually got time for. Um, but thank you so much, Alexander, for replying and for actually coming on and doing this. It has been so much fun to talk to you and I've actually really enjoyed our wee conversation. Thank you, Judo. It was an amazing interview. I'm very glad to meet you. And now for the outro. So um, thank you everyone for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below, do all that great stuff. But thank you all for watching and I guess I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Goodbye.